Welcome to Animator, this is Fredo. So in this video we are going to see uh, how to create a movement uh, along a path. So let's start a simple animation. So we create a movement. Here we can select the object. Let's take the big one, huh, the yellow one. Then select path along path curve uh, tool so as you can see there are a number of curves defined uh, just hovering over each of them highlight the curve you can take one the curve is copied actually from the center of the object so if we play this animation you see that the red point, which we call the point of contact, follows exactly the path. We can indeed move this point of contact. So here it is the base of the cube which is following the path. You can also, on the original curve, set the beginning point so you see the curve is now shorter at the beginning and the end. So let's play the animation. You can reverse the direction. So the start being here, the curve now is this direction. You can, by the way, do the reverse uh, manually, uh, if you prefer. Uh, and the last uh, feature is uh, to have the movement done on path or off path. Here it is off path, that is the original path is here. Uh, and the path followed by the object is copied at the point of contact. If you are on path, then the object is moved to the actual uh, curve. You can set back the begin by dou double clicking, okay, and reversing, so you get the full path now. And finally, you can uh, have object rotation or no rotation at all. So if you have no rotation, the object just uh, follows the path uh, without uh, any, uh, any spinning. So that was the uh, first uh, animation. Let's save this. You can play it in the main animation screen you can add let's add a, a trajectory tracker so here to highlight the trajectory let's say of these two points uh, I move it at the beginning so as you can see, the contact point follows exactly the curve. So let's stop here. So now a few explanations. Uh, first on the path. So the path must be uh, sketch up curved. Okay, so it cannot be a set of edge, it has to be a curve. Uh, the idea is that you have plenty of tools and plugins to create uh, curves uh, in SketchUp. One thing you may have noticed is that in the model, it looks like I have only two curves here and this segment, this curve segment. However, 
when I go to the editor, I see over curves. For example, uh, this ellipse and these two, which I can select. So, the explanation is uh, simple. In most uh, cases, you don't want to show the path when you play uh, the animation. So, uh, animator can of course take any curve in the model to be used as a path, but has a convention which is that if you have a group at the first level of the model containing a single curve, it will be shown even if it is hidden. So here, the other curves, I put them on a special uh, layer where which I have uh, hidden uh, before playing the animation. Okay, so this curve is in a, in a group at the first level, uh, this one too. Okay, and I think this one as well. This one is not. Okay, and it, by the way, it's not even a, a curve. So, this is why uh, they appear, they appear actually uh, in color. So, let's uh, edit uh, the animation by adding another object. So, what happens when you select two objects? So, let's select this object because <coughs> <coughs> because uh, the option is on path, the object is moved uh, on path at the same distance of the original. Huh? If I remove the option, you see. So here, the object will follow more or less as if it was only one uh, component uh, in a rigid uh, manner. Okay, let's put an object rotation and you have sometimes strange uh, effect. You see this cube moving uh, strangely. You can uh, move uh, uh, objects at any level so let's take uh, this small object and let's move it along the path which is embedded in the big group so you see that the cylinder follow uh, the path why the big group uh, is uh, moving uh, to. So let's play it again. You can put it on the path, of course. Let's save this. So we have the two animation going along. Of course, we can shorten one. And we see the second animation continuing. <coughs> Let's save. There is a special treatment uh, when uh, the path is a loop curve. So let's create uh, an animation. Let's take this object and let's select this uh, ellipse. So by default, the object just make, makes a, a full circle. Now, you can 
first uh, move the begin and end points so that you define the portion of the loop curve you want uh, to uh, follow. So here is a small portion. By using reverse direction, you take the big portion. You can, of course, change the origin, uh, take the full lo loop, but change the origin. Uh, the, the origin of the SketchUp curve is this uh, yellow uh, dot. Uh, here you start from a different origin, but go along the full loop. Okay. As usual, uh, you can move the point of contact and you can also put the object on path. Okay, so you select which portion you wish. Everything is visual, so whether it's reverse or not, you decide by watching the, the curve and the arrow which uh, indicate uh, the direction. So let's save and I think uh, this is over for uh, the introduction to uh, uh, the movement along the path. Uh, there are other options which I will show in the next uh, video. Thank you very much and enjoy SketchUp.